Today I will show you how to create a customizable grid background. Nobody likes a plain black background, so having one of these is very valuable. Backgrounds like this are also often used by large creators on YouTube as a backplate for animations and media. Lastly, I will show you how to save this in a power bin to access it anytime for easy use. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more tutorials like this one. Let's get into the video. First. Let's search for a fusion compound and add it to our timeline. Select it and open it in the fusion page. Add a background node and attach it to the media out node. Hit control space to search for the grid node and add it to your node tree. Watch me as I change my settings. I decide that I want my first grid to be a gray color. I also choose to add a blur so that it is less sharp and more subtle. Next, it's time to add a vignette. It is important to find a good color that fits your branding or theme of your video. In this case, I am going with a red. But as I said, there are so many options to go with, so take your time to pick out your preference then come back to the video. Once you are content with your selection and want to save it to use anytime, click new bin and name the bin. Go inside and head back to the timeline. Head over to the File tab and rename the Fusion Composition. Then drag and drop it into the bin. I decided to make another one that looked more like a blueprint grid and added it to my power bin on a new name. This is an example of how you are able to recycle the pattern and create new themes to it. Now as you can see, I have made two backgrounds intended for multiple purposes for content creation. Depending on your style and niche, these can become very useful as a backplate. Consider watching another one of my tutorials and don't forget to subscribe for more useful and educative content. Have a great day.